this is ch this is hard. This is like much harder than I thought it was gonna be. Hey guys, Maddie here with VR and Fun, and I'm bringing you guys a new game called Ship Ahoy. This game is absolutely adorable and really fun to play. These are my type of games, and the art style is absolutely beautiful. It reminds me a lot of Legend of Zelda Wind Wakers, which I absolutely loved as a kid. This game was developed by Oakham Studio and is available today and free to play as well. There are three ways to play this game. You have missions, PvP, and trials. At this moment, the missions are unavailable, but they will be coming out soon. The trials are four mini games that are pretty fun and can help you get good at your aim and directing your ship. The four mini games are Be the Tower, Survival, Hit the Targets, and Plunder. Be the Tower is where you're in the tower shooting down enemy ships. You have four cannons with three different kinds of ammo. You have cats, birds, and fish. Each one is a little bit different. Uh, the cats act like normal cannons would. Birds shoot out really fast but do less damage. Lastly, the fish, when you land your shot, birds will swarm around the ship and do damage over time. You don't really need to use the fish in this mini game, but it is useful in others. Plus, one hit with the cat cannon will shoot down the ship. Uh, one thing that can be confusing is the points in your health. The number is your points and then your health bar is obviously your health and it will go down. There's no health points that you will see. So don't be confused when you do see that throughout the game. Um, I do believe that this mini game is endless. Um, I got up to wave 15. You do get your health back and all of your ammo back so it's pretty easy to get through those waves. Survival is a lot like PvP but with bots. In this minigame, you'll control your boat around a relatively small map. The objective is to survive as long as you can. You'll have barrels that will reload your ammo and health. In this minigame, using the different ammo can make a difference. Hit the target is a great minigame to practice your aim while navigating your boat. Watch out for those bomb barrels too, they are everywhere. Plunder is the last minigame. This game is really simple. You just navigate your boat around the map and collect chests in a matter of three minutes. The time will show up on your health bar, so like I said, don't get confused when you guys see that. And lastly is PvP. This is by far the best mode. This is so much fun and very enjoyable. You can use all three different kinds of ammo. There are your health, ammo, and bomb barrels, and towers that you can shoot down as well. You'll be placed in a pretty large map fighting against other players, so make sure you position yourself so that you don't have people swarming you. I would also like to add that throughout the game, if you hit the enemy's cannon with your cannon, the ammo will actually destroy itself so it won't hit either you or the enemy. Overall, I really liked this game and it was a lot of fun. This is definitely on my top 5 favorite VR games. Plus, this game is free to play on the Steam Store right now. And also, I would like to say it's only available on Vive, so I'm so sorry Oculus players, but hopefully they will come out on there. Uh, the only thing to watch out for this game is that it's not as smooth as I wish it was, and it can be really hard on those eyes. It's a little glitchy on the main menu sometimes, and I found that I could go through objects on some maps. Also, I always thought it was kind of weird that they don't have collision damage when hitting objects or enemy boats. I was kind of half expecting that. I'm also really excited about those missions to come out, so I can't wait to see what they have in store. This is Maddie with VR and Fun, and I'm signing off.